Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our video where we're going to go through expenditure minimization uh, where our utility constraint is defined by a CES function. Now, the restriction that we go and we put on this is that the summation of alpha i is going to be equal to 1 here. So step number 1 is that we're going to set up our Lagrangian. We're then going to take our first order conditions with respect to xi and xj. We're then going to go and use our first order conditions to solve for our intermediate bundle. Step number 4 is that we're going to use this intermediate bundle, xi hat, and we're going to sub it into our utility constraint to obtain our Hicksian demands. So step number one, we're just going to go and write our Lagrangian. This is just how it looks. Uh, next, we're going to go and take our first order conditions, which go and uh, clean up real nicely because we have a uh, one over row here and a row here, and we have a one over row here and a row here. So that simplifies uh, the, our equations there by a lot. Next, we're going to go and rearrange um, our first order conditions, equation one being for our first order condition with respect to i, and our second equation being our first order condition with respect to j. We're then going to go and divide 2 by 1, and we're going to go and get the following result. Cleaning this up, we have uh, the following, right, knocking this whole story off. And we bring it up to here, right? And from there, we further rearrange this by doing the following. So we go and we multiply this down here, or divide out down here and multiply this up here, right? Just going and drawing the arrow is just to go and show how we get down to this next step. And we go and with further rearrangement, we go and we solve for our intermediate bundle x i hat, which is the following. So next we're going to go and sub our intermediate bundle into our utility constraint, putting our x i hat right here. Then we're going to go and have the following result on the next line. What we're going to go and proceed to do is that we're going to go and multiply uh, both sides by this exponent of rho, right? I shouldn't put an x there, but I'm just that's to denote just that we're multiplying both sides here. And we're going to get the following result down here. Next, uh, we're going to go and be able to go and pull out all terms j down here. Noting this uh, result um, that the summation of alpha i goes and sums to 1, right, and we have all of the same terms here for each unit, um, we can go and just knock this off and get this guy up here. Um, from here, we could go and then you know play some more games by dividing out uh, a row here, right? Dividing out a row, and you know this is also going to be um, dividing out a one over row, and that's going to be um, what goes and gives us the power to go and solve for our Hicksian demand for good j, which is as follows right here. So um, this is how you go and solve for your Hicksian demands in a n good case where our preferences are CES. I hope this video helps. Take care.